Hi, Chris Cobb for Expert Village. So we've just read the scene and now we need to input it into EP Scheduling. So here's the breakdown sheet for the scene we just read. And this, scene, this breakdown sheet does not indicate the photographs that are written into the script. And that's because we're going to break those out as separate breakdown sheets of their own. Before we do that, however, we're also going to assign those breakdown sheets their own color so that they stand out when we see them on the production board. So let's go ahead and do that. Go up to Design, Strip Colors, and remember how we created the color scheme for the board. Well, we're going to do a little bit more of that. Let's go to the horizontal line up here, Interior, Exterior, IE, and let's add a new category called TBD. And the first thing we do is we select one of the boxes here, and our goal is to go to find a very bright color for the background, so make sure background is selected from the colors that's not red. And the reason we're not going to use red is because red is already being used by the program to indicate other things. So let's grab fuchsia instead. That'll get our attention. So there it is. It's fuchsia. Let's do it for all of the boxes up and down this vertical list. And there we go. Now we have this new category called TBD. And we have a nice bright color for that category so that when we see those strips on the board, we'll notice them. Okay, let's press OK. Now the next thing we do is we create our first strip that uh, calls out those, ele those photographic moments in the scene. And the way we do that is we duplicate this breakdown sheet. Now you notice all that seems to happen here is that the sheet number disappeared. Well, it didn't disappear. This is a new breakdown sheet with no scene number. So let's give it one, 69A. And let's go over here to scene. We don't double count the scenes. So this is now scene 69, part. And here's where the magic happens. We go ahead and select TBD. There it is in our list. And notice up above, it becomes fuchsia. Last but not least, on this line, we make sure that we zero out the page count so we don't double count it. Then we go to our synopsis. Snap, Sully looks Cranky. Now Sully is the only one that appears in this shot, so let's make sure that nobody else is in it. Let's get rid of, let's deselect Hannah and another character named Jen. Let's get rid of all the background actors because they are obviously not going to be in a headshot. And let's get rid of the registration desk leave photo area because that's apparently the place where he, the photos get taken. So there we go. We have a new sheet up here with a new uh, part scene number, TBD, nice bright fuchsia, zero page count.